in response to a question I get asked very frequently that what is the best time to take vitamins and supplements. See the best time to take vitamins depends on the specific type of vitamin you're taking and the reason why you're taking it. Generally speaking take water soluble vitamins such as vitamin C and B in the morning. This is because water soluble vitamins are easily absorbed by the body and are quickly excreted. So it's best to take them in the morning so that way you can reap their benefits throughout the day. Then you have your fat soluble vitamins which are your vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K. Now these are the vitamins that you want to preferably take with a meal that contain fat because fat soluble vitamins are absorbed by the body with the help of dietary fat. So it's best to take them uh, with a meal that contain fat to ensure their absorption. Then comes your iron containing supplements. These are best taken on an empty stomach because that helps increase their absorption. However, if you are experiencing stomach discomfort, you may want to take them with a small amount of food. Uh, iron supplements normally are uh, shelved uh, with the, the name called ferrous sulfate or ferrous gluconate. They're all different names for the iron supplements. Now they work the best or they absorb the best when taken with something acidic like vitamin C, orange juice or lemonade. Another thing when you are taking iron supplements is that iron supplements or iron is very constipating. It can change your stools into hard golf ball like stool. So definitely keep a stool softener handy. Um, it's good to be aware of the side effects of the vitamins or supplements that you're taking because that's going to help you be more adherent because if you start experiencing the side effects and you're not sure that the side effects are manageable or the supplement that you're taking can cause those side effects then it's very natural for us to discontinue these supplements and become non-adherent. Um, also talking to your pharmacist about the possible side effects of the supplement or medication that you're taking is very helpful because the, the pharmacist can educate you beforehand and tell you how to manage those side effects that way you can continue taking uh, the supplement and be more adherent to it another common supplement is calcium that's best taken at night because it absorbs while you sleep you can also pair your calcium supplement with vitamin D supplement because the body needs vitamin D to absorb calcium. So if you are taking a multivitamin that contain a variety of both fat soluble and water soluble vitamins and minerals, um, I would say overall it's best to take them with a meal uh, that may help enhance the absorption of certain nutrients and help decrease your risk of digestive issues. Uh, but the bottom line is that your body absorbs and stores nutrients in different ways. So if you are unsure that how a certain vitamin or supplement is going to affect you, your body, uh, definitely check with your pharmacist. Also inform your pharmacist about the medications that you are taking because a lot of these medications kind of interact with your supplements. For example, uh, St. John's wort, that's a supplement which is very commonly uh, used for depression and it tends to interact with almost any medication and the, the kind of interaction is that it increases the absorption of many medications. Uh, also if you are smoking for instance, uh, smoking tend to decrease the absorption or concentration of certain medications in the body so if you do kind of um, are on an on and off basis with smoking then do let your pharmacist know that okay I am smoking right now so the the dosage can be adjusted but once you stop smoking the medication concentration may kind of spike up and that may lead to side effects so that's also something to keep in mind the supplements uh, absorption in the body or the medication absorption in the body definitely depend not just on other medications but the food items that you're taking your lifestyle and some of the other uh, possible things so always check with your doctor or pharmacist that way you can um, get the best benefit and rule out any drug interactions and the, they can provide you a better guidance all right so that's it for today's video 
uh, if you have any questions about this topic or if you have suggestions on another topic do let me know in the comments because most of our videos are definitely born out of your comments and suggestions so we always look forward to them thank you so much for watching and if you found value in this video definitely hit that like and subscribe button hey guys if you found value in this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos